Hey there folks, Nick here, welcome back to the channel. We're playing a bit more Cricket 19 and this time Victoria are hosting the SA Redbacks. It's going to be a pretty fun match. I don't expect I'm going to get a bat in this one, but hopefully we'll take a couple of wickets. Let's head straight down to the MCG and uh, see what happens in this match. So here we are once again and for the very next time at the MCG for this T20 match between Victoria and South Australia. I'm still batting at number six, although I don't believe that I'm going to get a bat today. South Australia will have to pull out all the stops to, I guess, get my batting order down to me. Because uh, the last few times we've played them, I think there was a grand total of all the T20 matches, or all the matches we've played against Redbacks in the last few, I guess, weeks. There's probably been a grand total of 20 wickets across all, probably, six matches at this point. This will be about the sixth match, because we played them twice in... Uh, in uh, long form cricket four day we played them twice in the one days and this is the second time we'll be playing them in t20 and i have absolutely no doubt that we will continue our five currently game winning streak against them this season i guess time will tell well so we'll have a look at the first ball it looks like south australia are batting first uh, i didn't actually pay any attention to right there. I didn't pay any attention to the uh, the toss or anything like that, but I'm brought into play off the first ball. Happy with that. Let's zip ahead. Oh, wow, lots of wickets. That didn't take long at all, did it? I'm, bring, I'm being brought in in the 14th over at 8 for 66. And it has to be said that this is an absolutely abysmal effort by South Australia. Run rate sitting just... Just yeah. north of uh, eight, uh, five runs and over. Although, I'm going to do my best to change that. Uh, with this ball here, hopefully the run rate will dip below five. Oh, right he gets to it. And there we go. Run rate now below five. South Australia in a bad way. Uh, let me go a little bit over. And give him the old in-swing from uh, around the wicket. Oh, it's in the air! There's no fielder in that direction! It's really high, though. That's going to take a few bounces before it hits the rope, but hit the rope it does. Andrews, with his first boundary of the match. So now, I switch him up to some outswing. Oh, that's a wide, that's a loose ball. And I'm going to be punished for it. Let's try that again. Same ball. Edge. Oh, I didn't carry. I haven't brought the wicket keeper up. Oh, well, that was a ball wasted. Let's do that. And then we'll give him a full fast in swinger. Edge. Got him. There it is. The very next ball. What? How was that not a wicket? Do I appeal it? I've got to challenge that. I feel like that should have been a wicket. I can't understand why it wasn't. It looked like a wicket. It sounded like a wicket. He definitely edged it. But did he edge it on the way down? No. It's carried. He's definitely edged it. 100%. The ball doesn't move that far without an edge. And there's an obvious hot spot on the back. All right, did the wicket keeper catch it though? That's the important question. I'm sure he did. It definitely looked like it was, uh, yes! Overturned the umpire's decision! He was wrong! I second guessed myself for just the smallest of seconds there, but I was pretty sure that was out. Hey there folks, editing Nick here, and uh, I'm just having a bit of a look at this footage as I'm editing it. And I have a feeling the reason the umpire gave it not out is that the wicketkeeper didn't catch it. You see how nonchalant he just throws the ball over to, I don't know, Gully or whatever fielder it was he throwed him to? Let's have a look at the moment just before he catches it in super slow motion here. Well, as slow as it's worth taking 60 FPS footage. And it kind of looks like the ball might have just not carried to the wicketkeeper's glove. And unfortunately... 
He made me second guess myself, but I have prospered. I have. Um, I've lost the word. Anyway, I've come out on top. It doesn't matter. Kane Richardson now, the final man for South Australia, is at the crease. And I will start him off with a full in swinger. I was going to make it. Oh, got him! <laughs> yes! It might actually be gone down leg. Uh, umpire says no. Should I challenge this one? I'm not going to, but I am going to pull up the match review because that would have been pretty close. It had to be close, but I, I have a theory that it was running down leg. Actually, it might not have been. Oh no, it definitely was. <laughs> uh, missing the wickets. No wicket there, although it looks like... Oh my god, what's happened? Oh, have we won already? We won in eight overs. Eight full stop. Eight overs. Not even half the, the actual innings was batted. Isaac Foster, 30 out. Nick Maddinson, 22 not out. Hanscom, 12 not out. Harris went out for seven. The best the Redbacks could, uh, could offer up was 21. Carson Boyd, man of the match with four for 18. That's pretty amazing. Uh, I took one for five. That's the end of that match. And, 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 yes, I'm up to level 30. That means I've unlocked a new perk. I've also picked up another bowling AP that really doesn't matter at all. I have no batting ability points. I've got six bowling ability points. Who gives a toss? Uh, but the important thing is I have a new one of these, a new perk. Let's see what perks are available to me. And grab the one I like the best. Alright, so I think I've I've narrowed it down to either attacker or good shot maker. Um, so the good shot maker gives me an increase of drive, the cut, the hook pull, the glance, the sweep, and a slight decrease to defending. I'm not that worried about the decrease to defending. Or attacker. Hook pull and attacking get a, a significant or a moderate increase. And obviously a bit of a decrease to the defending. So do I bump all my skills a little bit, or do I just bump those two? I think I bump all of them. Let's go with good shot maker. So now my stat, my not stats, my perks are good shot maker, good technique, Fisher, which gives me the cut and the hook, uh, going swingingly, which makes my balls better, and traditionalist, which gives me drive, cut, and sweep increase. So that's how I'm going to sit. Do I have any? I've got new gold perks. That's cool. So we've also got the one day focused. Uh, we also have confidence increases for, um, for the various forms of the game. I think I'm going to stick with the one day focus. Um... I don't know why, I just feel like that's a good idea. So that is where I sit. Let's have a quick look here. I'm now an overall of 59. I believe I was a 58 before. Um, with a batting of 31, a bowling of 82, and a fielding rating of 35. Can you believe it? My fielding is better than my batting. Actually, I can believe it because I'm a pretty crap batsman. Um... I will also point out that my selection difficulty is still set to normal. I haven't changed that at all. Uh, I'm aware that obviously I will get selected much faster for the next levels of the game if I set that to easy or easiest. But I kind of like being left in various forms of the game for a little bit longer. It gives me a bit more time to increase my skills, although now that my skills are, are in essence maxed... Um, 
there really isn't a lot of point in, in just hanging around at the various levels of the game. Um, what I really need to be doing is, is increasing my batting skill, and that's only going to happen if we get out of T20, or at the very least, uh, if my team sucks a bit more. But, yeah, you get that. Anyway, guys, that is the end of this episode. I have waffled way too much at the end of it. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the episode, please hit the like button. That helps me out a huge amount. And of course, hitting the subscribe button uh, helps the channel out a huge amount. But what it also does is gives me the warm and fuzzies. So if you want to give me the warm and fuzzies deep in my warm and fuzzy bits, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure I get to see that number go up every single day because uh, that really gives me the warm and fuzzies and pisses my wife off when I go up to her and say, hey, guess what, wife? I got another subscriber today. And she says, I don't care. And I say, well, I do. So you should too. And she slowly starts to care. Thank you very much for tuning in. As always, I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers, Club. The rest of my team doing a pretty good job. Edge, got him. Please tell me that carried it. Yes!